the previous lesson, I gave you an overview of the dashboard and some of the features that Quix has to offer. Uh, in this video, I want to show you about working with templates. Now you go to new and it's going to take you to this. Now in a brief nutshell, templates are pre-designed blocks that have already been created. You just have to pick and choose and mix and match to create the layout that you're going for. So once you get to the front end, you want to click on add template. When you click on here, you have several options that you can see. And the great thing about this is this. If you have the pro version, you can just choose any one of these as a starting point. So they've done an excellent job. You scroll down and any one of these that you like. Now, templates are very important because sometimes you want to create a website, but you just don't know where to start. You don't know how the heading needs to look, how the middle, how, to, how things need to look. So you need some type of inspiration. So this is where uh, the templates come in. So right now you have a section. You can click from here to choose the type of section that you want to create. And as um, you can see here, or you can kind of just scroll through to get an idea of the different uh, types that they offer. So let's start first with this header. So I'm going to click on insert it. And in order for you to use this, you need to have the pro version. So if you don't have the pro version, what I'm using right now, you won't be able to get access to it because it says pro. So you click insert. And just like that, we have a, a top section. Now let's create a, a page with just this section. So click add templates again. And we're going to go scroll down here. Now this is the fun part about it. Okay. You can just kind of scroll through and see what type of layout do you want to build? Uh, how do you want to convey things? So I'm just picking things at random. All right, so I like this one. Let's click insert. And we've added that. Let's click add templates again. You scroll down, see what else do you want to add? You kind of go through, Have you can do this method or you can just say, okay, I like this one too. So let's add this one. And I've added another one. So let's go down again, add another section. Okay, I'm going to go with this one right here. And you get that message successfully added. Now, I'm just adding different sections at random. And you can already see that I have a, a complete website just with adding a few items. So if, you, if you're not a designer, you don't know where to start, where to begin, sections are going to be your best friend. So click on Add Templates. So I'm going to go through here. And I can also come through here and check, see, hmm, what do I want to do? Let's add, check some clients. So I'm going to go through these here and see what type of layout for these that I want. Okay, so I'm going to go with this one. Okay, let's keep building. Uh, I like everything at a glance like this. So let's go and see how this just look. Scroll down. What do I want to do? Now you can keep extending more or you can kind of leave it at that. Okay, so I'm going to add some pricing. I like how this pricing one here looks. I'm going to insert the pricing. Now the pricing is going to click add another template. So I'm going to scroll down. Two, 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 two. You kind of hum while you don't. This is a little bit fun. And you can pick and choose anything that you want here. Um, I'm just choosing stuff at random. So there's really uh, just different things. But the goal of it is I want to show you how simple and easy it is for you to do this. So I like this FAQ. Let's add this one. And scroll down the FAQ there. Let's add something else. So I want to add, let's say a contact, uh, contact. Okay, so I'm going to contact. So you scroll down with the contact. Hmm, which one do you like? I like this contact style right here. So I click this one. And just like that, I've created a landing page literally in seconds just by dragging and dropping. So this page that you're looking at now, this was designed just by using sections. And once again, if you're not a designer, so many people freak out because they don't know what looks good. They don't know how to do this. All you can do is just drag and drop what you think looks good from what you're trying to accomplish. And just like this, you have a high quality professional website that you can use for your business. And it took literally just seconds to do it. Literally, if you want to add more, you can add more. And you can also check it out on different devices, see what it's going to look like. So there's the desktop. Let's see on the tablet how this looks. So this is what people are going to see when they look at it from a tablet's perspective. Let's go over to a mobile phone. And this is what they're going to see. And everything is responsive. It looks good regardless whatever device that you're looking at it from. So let's go back here. You can click on this. You can toggle. Just cancel and then click the desktop. And once you're done, okay, if you want to just save this page 
uh, as a normal page, you can just click on save and you have to go through name, which we're going to go through that in just a minute. But let's say I want to save this as a template. I can come here and I can click on save as template. It's going to ask me to name my template. This is where you put the name of your particular template. So I'm just going to call this easy setup or something. You can call, call it whatever you want it to be. And then once you're done, you click on save. So what you've done now is you have saved this template. So in case you have to use it again for another uh, project or another site, all you'd have to do is to recall it. So what exactly does that mean? So let's go back to add templates. Now you notice that you have my templates here. When I click on it, you see the easy setup would create it. If I ever wanted to start over again and I just didn't want to do that work, I would just click on insert. OK, so these are the templates that you can create as many as you need to. You go back to pages. This are the pages that you can be able to use uh, with the pages. How this works, too, is that these are already pre designed pages that you can just use right away. So let me show you how this works as well. So let's come over here. And I'm just going to choose, I'm going to choose this one right here, insert. And once you click the insert, just like that, you've created another page, this beautiful uh, layout that you can customize and tweak just from a template. So you scroll down here, you can adjust the columns, how you want them to be. Uh, you can disable something if you don't like how that looks. So using sections and templates are really great because you don't have to know how to code. You can look at the designs that you like and you can build from this. So if you want to build like a sales funnel or a landing page or even a complete website, you just have to go to templates. You can choose uh, a page that's already been created for you. Scroll through and see the design that is closest to what you're looking for. And then from there, you can be able to customize. So scroll down. This is this beautiful, just absolutely beautiful and and so easy for those that are kind of freak out about creating websites. So you scroll down here and uh, you go to sections. So you have the tools to use the sections or you can use the pages. It is up to you to do that. But as you can see, give it a try. You're going to love it. I would love to see what you create.